Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Vanilla Coast in City Skylines, where I've let this run for quite some time, and our traffic is working beautifully. There are very few backups, only a little bit down this... Oh, wait. Nope. Nope. That's right. That was the point of this episode, is that we have a backup back here. Um, <laughs> almost forgot about that. Um... Actually, can we just fix it from a simple upgrade of that? Will that split them up enough to allow the traffic through a little bit quicker? So many people are jumping into this side lane, though. It's, it looks like it's part of the problem. That we need more people on the far lane. Um... What time of day is it? It's getting to the evening, so it might level out here in just a second. But that is backing up quite a bit. Um, and there we go. Now we kind of have a free flow going to some degree, which should back up to the backup. <laughs> um, And I did realize something, that we need to actually change these off-ramps. Uh, they need, because people are getting off, or no, these off-ramps. That we need a direct connection from up here to down there. So, um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, that actually solved the backup a bit. It looks like it solved it completely. Uh, but it is not the rush hour, so... And I do have to say it like that, because it's kind of weird, but... Okay, so let's pause this. We're going to get rid of that. And we're, what we're going to do is we're going to take from, say, back here. We're going to do the little curvy. Um, we're going to, say, put it... Way out here, and then can we have it arc far enough out to get past that? We can. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to have it like that. And we're going to have something similar on this side. We do need to delete this, as it will interfere with that. Uh, so again, something similar. We're going to have it... Go from there, have it come very far out this way, and just like that. Um, very good. Okay. Um, that way we don't have people like crossing over this, getting off this highway to try to be going one direction. Um, Although we do have people going around the roundabout for some reason. Oh, to go over to that one? But that's what I solved. They should be using this. It is going the correct direction. Because they're going around this entire thing to get onto this highway when they should be using this. Um, is anyone using that? And why not? And if not, why not? Maybe it just didn't process through yet. Uh, that truck got off over here and went all the way around. Yeah. Um, no one's using this at the moment, which kind of bugs me. Because this would be the quicker path, wouldn't it? Um... Ah, there we go. Uh, okay, it was just a delayed factor, so. Now people are using that, which actually should cut down a bit on the traffic right here, so. Um. Hmm. We do have need for industry, though, and we do have one more large old plot of area to throw... Uh, offices, so I do believe we are going to do that today. Um, while we let that just run. 
Oh, that was the one where we could put the... Uh, that's going to be a big one, just like that. Yeah, and then it had the weird... Yeah, okay. Where one side was two, the other side was three. Um, if I did that, how many would be in the middle? I do like that. And then two threes. Um, why did a zoning appear over there? That was weird. Say the least. You, you, you. And then these ones, I don't want it to go all the way back. So. Um. And then I'm guessing... That is not the same on both sides, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, right there. Okay, so basically we're going to have another one of those over here. To some degree. Except with fours. Just like that. Very nice. Okay. So. I'm going to just fill that in because that's irritating. <laughs> Um, we can have a three and a four. We will have that little zone behind it, but not much we can do about that. So, um, if we put that, 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 oh, oh dear, come on. And that, that would evenly separate it. Now, how can we do this? Yep, just like that, and that will make threes down the line. Very good. Um... As for in this section, we could do. Hmm. That way it's even. It's very inefficient, but that way it's even. Um, that, that, all of that. There, those that and then this one's nice because I could just go across the entire way um did I make that into anything I did not okay so these two are still empty for whatever we may need which it looks like it, they might become commercial um I do still have areas that I can upgrade though don't I yeah like right here um and I like that idea a little bit more, although that's kind of how the I like how the city is designed like this, though. Um, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Give it a moment. Uh, that can go away, so that can take up some of that commercial demand. Um. Oh yeah. Uh. Let's see about the the roadway. Are they backing up? No, they are not. They are actually. It's moving very fluidly now. Uh, there is some backup down here, it looks, though. I think this highway's just getting overburdened in general at this point. It relieves itself, so... And fairly quickly. But, yeah, nothing more can be on these two highway things, so this is the legitimate end. Over here will probably be a branch of whatever I do with over here, so... Off this highway piece. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, because this highway literally cannot hold any more people. Um, although that being said, I am thinking that I do want another underground highway right here that comes up and interchanges right... Or oh, up here, maybe? Like, that this will become more like a T-junction. The idea being is that um, we're going to start to overbear these highways if we don't plan it out correctly. So, but yeah, that is a lot of cars on the highway all the time. But it's always moving, unlike Colorado traffic. Oh, speak of which, I'm not moving anymore. Um, just the rental agreement fell apart because, well, we didn't have enough money because we had an extra month that I forgot. Or... I, not that I forgot, I thought we were on a month to month, but we were not, so. And we would have had to pay an extra month, and I didn't have the money, even with working a job, to be able to pay that. So I'm just looking for work around the area I live currently, because that's 
Well, the only place I could probably get a job at the moment. <laughs> Considering I can't move because of the rental agreement. But And, and that's fine. That's how it works. Um, anywho, enough of me yammering. I need... I have a need. I have a need to build. No! Ah, oh, you. I get so used to, uh... These ones that don't attach to the side road that just misplace them. Uh, several threes works. Um, would that be the same here? And that would be. Just like that. Although, this last one's going to be a four. Very good. Okay, let's get some offices in here. Just like that. Um, we are having actually a lot more commercial demand. Um, and to be fair, I upgraded all of the other commercial to high density. But you know what? This would actually work very well for high density. Um, okay. This is broken up all really, really weird. Uh, this one side is even. This side is not. It takes up that corner. Then we have two little ones up here. Hmm. Well, that's just irritating. Um. So how I think I want to do this. So I'm going to place that there and that there. That way, that's just broken up very nicely. Um. Going to put that there so that we don't have any oddity shapes um hmm yeah i'm i'm gonna have a big one right here so i'm gonna cut this one down to a three so that it kind of works out a little nicer yeah i like that okay and then this is going to be high density uh, commercial. Then that little area right there, we can choose whatever we want that to be in a moment. Um, you have more desire. I do want those to be residential. So I do believe those will become residential. And we are actually getting in demand for residential. Slightly. Uh, let's get them set up then. Um, simple as that. This one's a little off because it's supposed to be a four, then a three. Ooh, this one's a little off too. Uh, because, yeah, as you can see. So it's going to have a few more fours than normal, than a normal uh, piece with the corner bit. Uh, Throw those down. Throw those down. And we do have more commercial, so let's plan out how this one's going to be. Is this one the same? It looks very similar. We have the two right there. We have the... Actually, it looks the same but opposite. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. Just like that. Then we'll get some high density in here. Um, to squelch that commercial need. Then let's get the residential area up here all built up. And then we'll fill them both at the same time. Um, then four. And then four. And then there. And then we have two threes to throw in. And there, 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 there. And don't forget right there. Um, we have more commercial need. What? No. We still have an open commercial spot right there. I refuse to acknowledge that we have commercial demand when we don't even have all of the commercial spots filled. Um... That's already level three. Why is some of the why are some of them level one? Um 
no level up info available. That's weird. Maybe because the jobs aren't filled. I think that is why. Yeah, I think just because the jobs aren't filled. This one just leveled up. So yeah, it's just because the jobs weren't filled. Um, but still, we have now commercial that's just seeming to be a lot more rampant. Um, yeah, no. I might just upgrade this. Uh, we'll give this a second. We'll throw in the high density housing over here. And then we can just pull that through like that. Um, to kill the residential demand and see how that affects our RCI. Uh, when there's a reason to do it, there's always a reason to overdo it. Of course, it might not be correct to overdo it, but <laughs> the idea stands. Okay, that's going to mess with the RCI a little because it's going to make it think that there's less commercial for a moment. Um, or that there's, yeah, that there's less commercial need, but it should return back to normal in just a second. I don't want to really convert it all. Um, now then, for this middle area, how are these doing? Uh, you're about half full... You're a little bit more than, but 10 trucks, 6 trucks. So these two are handling this entire city section really well. So that's good. Um, hmm. Oh, and we don't have this districted yet. Ooh, that's, that's bad. In fact, we don't have all of them... Uh, incorporating the their prospective offices. Um, so just pull this right down the side right here. And then to the bottom. And then we will do the same with you, my good sir. Incorporate these offices into your district and that road in the middle is kind of like the Virginia Sea Road that Geico played off of recently Geico is really hit or miss with its commercials some of their commercials just irritate the crap out of me and some of them I legitimately think are really good but the fact that some irritate the crap out of me bothers me. Like, I know that uh, the point is is to get everybody in terms of the advertisement. So, that which I don't like, other people do. So, um, my word in this scenario is kind of up for debate. But, they irritate me with some of the commercials. Um, especially when they do stupid stuff like, oh, oops, dang it, that's right, because I did it like that. Yep, 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 nope, get rid of Pine Park. Um, uh, the Briar Rose District, really? We're, we're going all Sleeping Beauty with it? Um, <laughs> um, but anyways... Just the fact that it irritates me so much. Um, some of the commercials irritate me. You know what actually irritates me? More on a moral level than a... Uh, just whether I like it or not. When a car commercial destroys cars. Or like a car insurance commercial destroys cars. Because let's, let's, let's get this straight. They make money only through their customers and they are spending that money to destroy cars to try to get more people in cars are not cheap and yeah they're probably using cheaper models and whatnot but th th that's still that's still still ten thousand extra dollars on the um 
on the uh, cost of that specific ad. And that bugs me. If you are an ins especially if you're an insurance, that your money comes from that most of your revenue comes from the fact that you are protecting other people's vehicles, you should not be using, you, your ads should be as low budget as possible. Still getting, still being catchy and whatnot, but being as low budget as possible so that you can actually save your customers money. Oh gosh, one second, my nose. Um, because like, and I know Geico is supposedly one of the best in saving money. Supposedly. I say supposedly because I haven't actually seen the numbers. So I'm not going to confirm nor deny that claim. Um, but the idea is, um, that it doesn't matter. Th think of how much more money you could save people. Um, if you weren't destroying cars, you know, the whole point of your business model is, or of the whole point of an insurance is to ensure, and this is the thing that I dislike about the fact that there is laws that require you to have insurance. You could easily set up an insurance account, say, right? An account that you throw money into, specifically for just in case you get into a car crash, right? We have a lot of residential demand. Holy cow. Um, <laughs> so you have, you throw money into this account. You are still not legally able to drive if it's mandated that you have insurance. Even if you have 10, 20,000 in that account... You still, it is still illegal to drive without having one of these companies. And I, and I have issue with that. Um, now the idea with insurance, um, now the, the broader perspective is that those who don't crash a lot, um, kind of pay for those who do. And those who do crash a lot actually do pay more or should be paying more anyways. But the idea being is that, um, can I move it over at all? No. Okay. Uh, but the idea is, is that, uh, is that it's a community thing. Kind of like health insurance. You pay for the sick, um, when they're sick. And they pay for you when you're sick. Some people don't get sick as much. So yes, they help pay for those who get sick a little bit more. But it's a community thing. And I think that's what has been forgotten about. Um... <clears throat> Sorry, my my sinuses have been stupid today. Um, but I think that's what has been forgotten. Up... Are issuing a thunderstorm warning for the coming days. Um, that's not terrible. And we don't have a lot of... Okay, we have some over here. <laughs> but, um... It almost seems like the, the insurance companies forgot how insurance worked in the first place. Um, because they... Well, I can't say that. That's not right either. But still, I, I'm a little irritated that um, insurance can't be cheaper, you know? Um, that there's all these factors that you throw into your policy to determine the amount that you pay. But if you're a really good driver, oh, are we having outages? Are we out of? Um, yeah, we are kind of out of power too. So, uh, but the idea is, is that, um, right there. Um, and we do have to watch this because we don't have any redundancy up here. Um, in fact, let's get some in. But that, that, uh, um, 
really, it went straight for it. Um, where was I? But that the idea is is that your policy, policy, policy should really be based more off of. Um. Wow, how does that have power? These ones. Um, policy should really more, um, be based off of your past driving and whatnot. And that, excuse me, I hiccuped. Um, and that should be what goes into your policy, not, um, do we actually have open space up here? We actually have open space here and here and there. Why is this empty? What happened over here? Uh, okay. Can we have that fully? No, you go away. Yes, thank you. Just like that. What happened right there? How did we lose some zoning right there? And why is there zoning gone right there? And right here? Actually, there's no parks in there. I probably never zoned that. <laughs> never mind. That's probably my fault. Um,. Yeah, these areas aren't quite fully zoned either. Maybe we'll have residential back here because we do have, we did have, res we did have residential demand. Not anymore though, apparently. Um, but where was I with the idea? Yeah, that um, how good of a driver you are should determine your policy. That if you're a new driver, it's gonna suck, you know, because we they don't know how good of a driver you are. So it it does beg the question, well, should you get the good policies kind of thing? But at the same time, um, those who are good drivers, like I've only been in one crash over the past 12 years. Not to jinx myself, but... Um, but yeah, and typically I'm a fairly safe driver, you know, but do I pay insurance based off that? No, I pay insurance based off the fact that I'm a male. I drive a red car. It's not two door, thankfully. That would increase my rate even more, believe it or not. Um, and whatnot. Um, I do need to edit some stuff on my policy. I am paying more because my policy's just not set up correctly, but that that's beside the point the the point is is that i am a male driver within a specific age is which is deemed to be more hazardous despite the fact that i've been driving for 12 years and my the one crash i did have was when i first started driving so a lot less experienced at the time which makes sense why i got into the crash than i am now but yet i yeah, just, I don't know. It bugs me. Anywho, I'm going to stop ranting and just end the episode there. I hope you guys enjoyed me filling out the rest and making sure that the rest of this was uh, fairly decent. I do need those in there. Let the upgrades begin. Or were they fully upgraded? Uh, a couple of them were really close, if not. Yeah, there we go. We got some upgrades going. Um... And my rant on how insurance should actually be based off of a communal thing. That it's based on how uh, how much you need or do not need the services. And the concept is, is that it would not reduce down completely if you never need it. Because it's a community thing. You still have to pay for those who do get sick a lot. But if one only one person gets sick out of... A lot out of 10 you know it's easier for those 10 to help out that one especially if that one is still contributing so the idea being a very community based though that our society does not run without all of us working towards it if everybody just tomorrow decided to quit their jobs we would be in a pickle let's just say that um or if everybody just some for some reason died but then there wouldn't be anyone to complain. 
so you can't take that route. Anywho, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like as it does help the channel and uh, do subscribe if you're not already to catch the next episode as it comes out. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave those in the comment section below and I will get back to you as quick as I can. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and have a good one. Goodbye.